Hello everyone, this is Bruno and I'm gonna present you my my second project for Data Dilemma and Cloud Computing Lecture at University of Victoria. For this second project I decided to do with machine learning. I decided to use some application because I, I found it very interesting and I discovered some interesting libraries to work on it. Uh, I came up with an idea to solve some problem or find some application involving biological variables. I started looking looking up some papers online and I found this this one here that says about interesting biological applications and it states uh, a good application for analyzing DNA sequences to identify tumors but this kind of application has some privacy concerns so I decided to look for something else and that's why I I I came to a friend who is doing a PhD in, in the biology department at UVic and I explained that I was trying to do some something rela related to biology and he, he kindly gave me some data to work on based on a previous research he did back in Brazil where he was identifying some species of fishes in in a place based on a diet so this is the the raw data he provided me to work and i i i tried to transform this to a, a way that a computer can understand so let me explain it uh, uh, quickly here so here you have 34 different kinds of nutrients and these numbers here are related to fish so each fish which belongs to this species here interruptum uh, it's this this kind of this portion of each n nutrient so based on that information you can imply that this fish belongs to this species and there is another species here it's chara sp and obviously it has different configuration for nutrients for fish which eats uh which, which belongs to this species so basically I, I transform this data you can see it, it has a lot of information here many you have many many data here and I tried to develop a model that I, I could use my my program written in Python to solve this problem so let me show you basically I, I transform all that data in arrays and this first row here identifies the the nutrients and for each row below that you have the first column that identifies the class that I that I'm calling here I, I'm, I'm calling the interruption species as a number one and the chara SP as number two so at the beginning of it data data input here I I'm identifying the the class so you can see it varies from one to one two and I have all the information for each nutrient and basically I split up this input data into data sets the train data set that I'm using to train my neural network and the data test that I'm going to test if my model is okay or not and uh, uh, I I removed here the, the the class for 
this data and I put here as an expected result that I'm going to check later using a Java program. So basically I I start uh, I did some some analysis here and I first I started by changing some par parameters of my in my neural network. For example, I changed the number of neurons. So I started from 5 until 50 and I could see based on this chart here which which the best choice for this amount of data that I have. So it's it's around around 10 neurons you you've got a good network so I fixed this number to 10 and this means the the correctness of the the neural network for this amount of neurons based on my on, on the on the J Java program that I wrote to verify my answers if the answers provided by my network is the same as the expected data so I separated here 50 50 values to compare and I found that around 10 neurons is the best choice so I decided to change the epochs epochs mean the number of loops that you go through your training data set going to the whole training set until validation and verification if it's correct or not so theore theoretically the higher the number of epochs the best results you have but sometimes it doesn't feel like that you have to moderate the number of epochs and experiment to see how it works so I tried many different values here and I found that the best one was around 700 epochs so for 700 epochs my neural network has a, a 84 percentage percent of correctness so I've got this surprising result that I found it very good for this application that shows more than a more than a than a half I mean more than 50% so it means that my neural network is working pretty good for this data set and I I conclude that this this was a, a, a good application and I, I can just save this configuration for my neural network and apply it for different data set different input data set so basically this was my my application let me show you quickly my my source code I'm using uh, a library called PyBrain that implements neural network for Python and basically I'm using the backpropagation method to learn and this function here uh, where I, I build the network I change the number of neurons so I change here and this is the one, one of the most important part of my code this is the train the train function where I I changed you can use just train for one epoch but I tried to use this un train until convergence that means that the net the training process we will try to train the data until it gets a better approach for the expected value and you can set the maximum number here to avoid infinite loop or uh, because the training process can take a lot of time so up to hours so you can fix this number here to avoid this process and that's it you can see more details in the documentation and feel free to send me a comment any comment will be welcome and that's it thank you for watching it and have a good day bye